Hello everyone and welcome to Mystery Monday live on Facebook and hi if you're catching the replay here or on YouTube. Thank you very much for joining me tonight. My name is Lucia Byzantine and I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator in Melbourne, Australia. Um, let me know if you're watching because I'd love to say hi um, and we will um, get started. Hello Lisa, how are you? Um, firstly, um, not a huge amount of promotions, but Celebration has started. Now, Celebration is one of our best promotions of the year. Uh, Celebration is actually, it's on twice a year now, so this is the first year it's happened. So it's on, um, and I might be wrong, I think it's January, February. Um, this year it's actually August, September as well. So what happens with Celebration is if you do an order of $90, um, you can actually receive some free products and in this catalogue, um, if you don't have the catalogue, you can ask me and I will send it to you. Um, there are some free products that you can receive. So one of them is the bedazzling paper. There are some penguins. Um, there is a feels like home stamp set and also some more papers which you may have seen last week I did a card with it and I'll do one today as well hi rails how are you uh, then we get on to this one there's some Christmas as well then you'll also find some sheep and some more sheep so there's dies and a stamp and another stamp um, but then also if you get to $180 there are some products you can receive too so there are some dies here and they actually coordinate with the shaded summer stamp set in the um, main catalogue and there is also this delicate dahlias one which I will use hopefully probably not next week whenever I get it having a bit of trouble with um, the warehouse or not trouble um, they did have a COVID case there so um, the warehouse orders are a little bit slow at the moment so if you are waiting for anything um, that would be the reason um, just getting things out at the moment's a little bit hard from there um, hello Joan great day today you'd be out of lockdown and hi Paula um, the other thing is if you host a workshop as well or you do an order that is over $250, you actually receive a stamp set also. Uh, the other bonus is if you join my team um, and purchase the starter kit, which is $169 and you can choose whatever products you like in that and you get to choose $235 worth of products for that $169 you do also get to choose a free bundle from the mini catalog which is this catalog here um, so I will pop that up on my site just so that you can see what bundles you can choose from as well but what we will do now is get started so tonight what I'm going to do is um, I'm using a sketch and the sketch I'm using, funnily enough, is called Mojo Monday. So it kind of goes with our Mystery Monday then, doesn't it? Um, now, with a sketch, what happens there is if, and the reason why they call it Mojo is because if you do lose your Mojo and you don't know where to go or what to do next, um, it's a great way to start and just get some ideas for card making. So what they basically do is give you a layout and some measurements. So the measurements um, for these are in inches. So I did change them on my site to centimetres and did change them a little bit too because I have made my strip a little bit longer and narrower as well. So what I do have is a card base. So just our regular card base, 21 centimetres by 14.8. And I've scored it at 10 and a half. But then I also have a vertical strip. And that one I've done at two and a half centimetres by 13 centimetres. I have a rectangle and I've done that at nine centimetres by five centimetres. Hi Rebecca, how are you? And I also have a circle which is 6.5 centimetres in diameter. 
um, I've been a bit cheeky and used one of our retired stitch shapes as well but there are plenty of circles that you would be able to use or a punch or something that you could um, use to cut that out of as well so I will leave that up on the side there so that you can see it so it is really simple because we are just going to follow what the sketch is so we will stick our little stripey down then we shall stick the floral and then the circle but then what I'm also going to do is a little bit of stamping and I think I have put my stamp away yes I have so the stamp I'm going to use is one of my favorites at the moment which is the hand penned petals so I will use this image here and I will use the die to cut it out what I'm also going to do instead of coloring it I'm just going to stamp the color into it so you've actually got these stamps here and the flower and the leaf which will actually color it in as well so I'll show you how we can do that also okay so let's get started so we will start just by sticking some of this down so I'll start off with that long strip now in that circle I am putting an image but you could also just pop your sentiment in there as well so it doesn't have to be a stamped image at all um, and the other thing is you don't have to follow the sketch exactly either so you could um, take a little bit of artistic license which is what I've done a little bit as well like I said I've um, I've made my um, strip a little bit different in size and that's fine because you can do what you like it's just a guide to help you get started and sometimes it is hard I went through a stage where I just cased a lot of things um, and instead of casing I did start using sketches and it just can help you get your confidence uh, to start doing your own thing with cards as well um, the papers make it so much easier to do as well as you can see this one I've used both sides of the same um, designer series paper as well and you know they're going to coordinate so you've never got any problem with that this is a great little sketch Rebecca I do love this one it was a, a good one to save definitely so like I said the circle I will pop there but what I will do first is I've just got a little bit of scrap and I will stamp my image on that. Now, what I'm using as well to stamp on, um, we do actually have what is called a pierce mat, um, which is just a foam piece. So because we're using the photopolymer stamps, you've got no cushioning behind the stamp. Whereas when you use the... Um, red rubber stamps they actually have the foam behind them so what this is doing the foam that I'm stamping on is just giving us that little bit of extra cushioning and it just gives you a nice clear image as well now sorry I did forget to get my black ink I'll just reach up and grab that so I'm just using some memento ink here for my black and I'm just going to take the ink to my um, to my stamp. Just make sure it is all inked up nicely. I think I may have just missed a little bit. Okay. Stamp it down, nice little bit of pressure, just so it makes contact and it soaks up the ink a little bit. There you go. Another thing I forgot, sorry for the crackling, is my, um, just clean off my stamp there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do 
is just with my balmy blue I'm going to use that to do the flowers because that coordinates nicely with the papers behind I'm sorry I'm just going to have to stand up to get this straight And it's nice because it's kind of like a watercolour image as well. So it doesn't matter if it's not precisely in the lines. As you can see, mine has come out of the lines a little bit. But that's part of the look as well. So then I do have the flower. And just make sure it's the right way up. Again, look, it really doesn't matter. If it's not exact as well. Okay, and then the last thing is our leaves. So the leaves I will do in garden green. Again, that will coordinate with our garden green over here as well. Sorry, I have to stand up again. I find it, without getting right over it, I find it really hard to line them up. Now for this leaf here, I've just torn off a little bit of paper. So I can just mask this little bit of flower here and do my leaf without it then going onto my flower. Yeah, it kind of is like that, Paula, exactly. Mind you, that was probably them not lining it up properly as well. Probably having my same issue here. <laughs> Alrighty, so now that we've done that, I will take my mat away. We don't need that anymore. But I have got my die, so I'm using the dies from the same, um, from the hand pen petals. So they're all the dies that you get with them. There's actually the nice scallops, which we probably could have used on that straight bit as well, which would have looked nice. I only thought of that now, I didn't think of that. So what I'm going to do is line that up. I do have a few little bits of washi tape lying around. And that's only because we don't have a um, magnetic plate at the moment. I will get out my cut and emboss machine, pop him down here so you can see. Okay, and again, there's all numbers on these, so it makes it all nice and easy. So on this first plate, it does tell us if we're using thin dies, we need plate number one and we need two number twos. Okay, so I'll go one and then one of the twos. my image might pop it on the other one because I've got a dirty and a clean plate and I like to cut on the same plate all the time leave one a little bit clearer and then you can just start rolling that through just pops straight out and has that. So I'm just going to put my machine back up on the shelf so it's out of the way. Okay and that's going to go quite nicely colour wise too so the blue then just gives a little bit of contrast with the, um, the mint macaron as well. So I will pop that on dimensionals. And I 
admit I do tend to use the mini dimensionals all the time now but you can get the mini dimensionals and there are the um, the larger ones as well which were our regular size and I'm just using that take a pick tool to get all the backs off circle down and then I'll pop a few little dimensionals behind the image that we've cut out as well now I've got a few others to show you as well because it's been a nice quick card and they are really quick cards to make when you're using a sketch because you've got everything there ready to go as in they've done the measurements for you, they've done the layout for you. There's sort of not too much thinking to do, which, you know what, sometimes is a really nice way to craft. Actually, I might just pop one more up here as well. Okay. I'm just going to pop that about there. Now that just seems like a little bit of a plain, so I might just, I've just got a stamp and write mark here in black. So what I'm going to do is just pop a little line all the way around this. Now I'm really sorry if you see my head because I tend to write with my nose. So I do like to get up close and personal with my paper. I find the closer I am, the straighter I can go. Not that it matters because it is a handmade card. Just be nice and individual. And there you go, that just gives it a little bit more dimension as well with that black line all the way around it. And you could still pop a sentiment on there. You could still pop a sentiment down here as well would be fine. Or at the top, either way. Oh, I do like my hand-drawn lines. I just think it just saves doing a mount as well because you could do a mount. So I will show you another one I've made that's very similar. But as you can see with this one, I have mounted it. So that's given us the definition around the, um, around the card then. I have used an embossing folder on that one and I have only just got it and I can't remember the name of it. But I will find it for you. It is a painted textured embossing folder. I'll just bring that up a little bit so that you can see the detail in that embossing folder which is really quite gorgeous. And what I have also used here are the papers from Celebration as well. So they were a little freebie that I got and they're here, the beautifully penned, which do coordinate with our hand penned suite as well. So that's a nice look. Oh, do you know what? The other thing I could do, I just feel like it's a little bit white. I do have some gems. How about we put a few little gems on here as well? That might be nice. Just to give it a little bit of something else. Let's forget to use my little gems. So these are the in colour jewels, they are the 2021 2023 in colour. There you go, that's a little bit nicer with something else on there. Now I have made another two as well. Um, there's, there's quite a lot of embossing folders as well, Paula. You find in the catalogue if you've got it there are some gorgeous ones there thank you Sue 
Now the other two I have made is this one here, which again is using some celebrations papers, which are the little penguins. So what I have done with this one is um, actually fussy cut one of the penguins out of the paper. So I think I have, sorry, it's in its paper still, so it's a little bit shiny. There you go. So I've used a little penguin here and just cut him out of the paper there and stuck him on and put the little bird on top of him. On top of him, it's just holding the bird. So that's using and Sorry, I didn't have the name of those papers. The name of those papers are Penguin Playmates. And the other one I made, still using the same designer series paper, the back one is the penguins, but the um, the yellow and the mint are from the hand penned papers. And I've just used the um, All for Baby stamp set and um, dies for that one as well. So again, all using the one layout. So we're just using this layout here. And I've still got, I'm two of them are obviously very similar. But we've got some different cards there then too. So we've got more classic elegant. And we've got some kiddies cards on this side. Thank you, Rails. Thank you, Joan. Um, so... The penguins, there's also the stamp set in the um, new mini catalogue as well that coordinates with all the papers. So the new thing I did show you tonight was the um, piercing mat. So if you are using the photopolymer stamps, this is actually really good. It just gives you that nice defined image on your stamps when you're using that. Um, so there is mine, I must admit, mine is from my Stamparatus, but there is one in the catalogue on page 144, sorry, 145, and it's just called a piece mat. It's $9, so it's not even very expensive. It's 24 centimetres by 16 and a half centimetres. So if you are to place an order, do take advantage of the celebration promotion at the moment. Um, you can order from my site here and just use the shop now button. Um, be sure to use the host code because you will go in the draw for a prize as well. Uh, the other thing I'll show you, I do have one of my classes this Friday, um, but I have got my next class for... September the 10th already organized and we are going to do Christmas so I do have hope you can see that I do have a few Christmas cards to show there you go so the class will be like I said on the 10th of September You'll make the five cards. I will provide everything you need for that. Uh, it is $30. Um, and if you just let me know in the comments or if you need any more information about it, um, just let me know and I can um, give you some more info on that as well. So that's it tonight. I'll just take those ones away and pop the other ones there so that you can see what we've done tonight. I hope you've enjoyed that. And like I said, Mojo Monday is where I go often to get sketches because I do have some lovely sketches there. So if you are getting a little bit stuck for what to make cards wise, that's a great option and a great way to go. I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope everyone has a wonderful week and happy stamping. Thank you.